how's your day going? I have a couple free hours because my mom offered to have the kids over to play and I was so excited that I would get some time to myself because I'm an introvert and I love having time to myself, especially when it involves getting to do some kind of artwork. And so as I came away from her house, I just kept asking myself, wondering like, okay, what am I gonna do with this time? Because there's only two hours. Now there's like an hour and a half left and I don't want to waste it. Um, I'm like, should I get stuff done? Should I run errands? Cause I don't have the kids. But if I do that, I'm going to be more tired when I come back. Should I do housework? Like we have a lot of laundry to catch up on and I was going to clean that couch. And then I'm thinking about doing those things and it's like, oh, those are always going to be there. Like there's always laundry, there's always dishes. I really need to take this opportunity to do artwork because <laughs> if I have time to myself, like the thing that would really rejuvenate me and recharge me would be doing some art. I don't know about you. I'm gonna blend this, hang on. Okay, I don't usually have coffee, but if I'm gonna get ready to do some artwork sometimes I make like a yummy coffee drink to <laughs> attach a reward um, to the act of making myself go down there and work on creative stuff it's weird that we have to make ourselves do it because it's like one of the things I enjoy more than anything else um, but it's also one of the easiest things to procrastinate because it sometimes seems kind of like a guilty pleasure, like um, an extra thing, you know, dessert, <laughs> doing art, it's like dessert sometimes in our mind. Um, you know, well, I haven't done my work yet, like play after work. Um, there's a lot of other things I should tend to, like what about planning your kids' summer activities? What about planning your family vacation? What about um, like all the household stuff? Um, cleaning all the messes and everything. It smells good. But it's not dessert. <laughs> it's not a, hmm, it's not just a treat. It's important. Art is important. Um, you need beauty. Beauty um, distinguishes humans from robots <laughs> distinguishes humans from animals. It's something that gives us something that bears witness that we have a soul and it is the nourishment of our soul. So, I'm going to go make some art and I wonder if anyone out there is so tired of watching everybody else make amazing stuff, beautiful stuff, being successful, like everything we can see on social media all the time can be a little defeating if we don't take action. For one thing, it can be inspiring. I love seeing the creations of others and artists inspire each other. Um, so it's good. It's good to rejoice in the creative work of other people and to find what you love and to delight in it, to be inspired by it. Sometimes it stops there. If we're honest, like a lot of times we're consuming a lot more than we produce. And that can start, that can lead to just kind of feeling like a failure for myself. Um, if I'm looking at all the neat things that other people are doing and I'm planning all the things I want to do in my head but those plans never come to fruition I can start to feel like um, kind of yuck so 
I don't know if there's any anyone else out there that is tired of just consuming and not producing. Um, it's really not it's really not more relaxing to consume than it is to create and produce. I think producing and creating gives a person so much more satisfaction than consuming does. When you consume something like this delicious cup of coffee I'm gonna have, it it gives pleasure for the time being, like when you're drinking it and you experience like the effects of the caffeine and you feel more energy, but it's temporary, right? It goes away. And that is what happens when we look at Instagram, and Facebook, YouTube. We can get so, we can really enjoy um, consuming content from other creators and get excited by what they're doing and to get a little high off of it, off of what we see, and maybe off of how we envision we could do that too. Um, but that wears off and then, and then you're left with reality. <laughs> and reality pales in comparison with that dream that you saw or that you were inspired to imagine for yourself. So consuming social media, consuming food, consuming materials, material objects, like who likes to shop? You know you get a little high when you buy something new. You're like, oh, this is gonna change my life. I'm gonna be a, a new person because I have these shoes. <laughs> gives you high for a moment, but it's always temporary. It always goes away. Oops. That was so messy. Oh my. On the other hand, when you produce something, maybe the fun of making it is over when you're done, and now you have the fun of beholding it, completed, finished. And then you have the, the fun of showing it to others, completed, finished, beautiful, something you're proud of. Other people like it, it fills you up. Um, there's something that connects us to God when we create something because it says that after he created the world he looked at everything he saw and he found it to be very good so I always think of that when I've made something that I think is that I really like that I think is good and that's not all the time a lot of artworks don't turn out well but when I make something and I'm really proud of it, it's so fun to look at that and think it is good. And then to have other people confirm that and see it too and say, wow, that's really, really beautiful. There's nothing like that. And the cool thing about art is that once you've made it, once you've created it, in some ways it's immortal because it doesn't go away like a piece of cake. <laughs> I guess cake could be an art as well. <laughs> so some art might go away. Um, or I suppose a, like a live performance on the stage goes away after you view it. But with filming and everything, a lot of things can stay around longer. But when you paint a painting or craft a song, record a song, when you write a poem, it outlives you. It will exist forever, unless it's lost. <laughs> it will exist. 
maybe till the end of the world. So I love that about making art. It's a lasting, it's a lasting thing. It's a lasting joy. If not for yourself, for others who will experience it. So is anyone tired of sitting on the sidelines and watching other people live a beautiful life, the kind of life that you want to live, the kind of energy, the kind of excitement, the kind of adventure, the kind of dream fulfilling life that you wish you could go after? Do you want to have like a driving purpose, a singular goal about your life? And you feel like you're just spending your time spinning, just looking at everyone else. Are you tired of doing that? And do you wanna take the horse by the reins and live your own life? Um, I am with you. And I was brainstorming about how we could make this dream happen because a lot of times we try to do things on our own and it's just so hard. It's just so hard and we're not meant to, to be alone. Um, we're not meant to go through this life alone. And especially as artists, art can be a really isolating thing. And that's one of the reasons that I founded a local group in our area called the Fellowship of Catholic Artists. Um, this is a group of Catholic artists that gets together and we encourage each other, inspire each other, keep each other accountable. We have art shows, we have meetings and discussions and art nights and all sorts of stuff. And it's been really awesome for me. And I know for some of the artists in the group as well. Um, but I wonder like how I can help more people beyond my community to experience this as well. The need that we really have for connection, accountability, encouragement, community, as we go after this goal of making something beautiful. And um, so I had this idea, and I wonder what you think about it, is to come on here live every day and make some acrylic pours with you guys. Um, we could have the, we could just have a time that I come on live every day. Um, I could put like a materials list ahead of time. So if you wanted to make the same thing as me, you could have that list or you could just um, get your, get out your own supplies and work on whatever it is you wanna work on in that time. But that could just be a time that we um, designate that we are gonna make art. And it would be every day. We could challenge ourselves to do it for a month and just see um, how we feel at the end of that and see how we've grown. Um, I think the point here is to get, get making stuff and get creating to get out of the just consumption stage into the production. Um, we want to, we want to be fulfilled and satisfied because we are pursuing our dreams. We are following our creative call as artists and we're trying, even just trying, you know, throwing paint at that canvas. Um, that's better than just sitting there and looking at those empty canvases, right? We might as well get in there and get going on it. That's the only way to get good and to have fun, have fun with it. Okay, so we are, we are sometimes, um, I don't know, I can procrastinate. I don't wanna tell anyone out there that you're a procrastinator, but if you are a procrastinator like I am, it's time to stop putting our dreams on hold and it's time to seize the, the day, to seize the time that we have, which Right now, if you're watching this, you have time right now. So we are going to seize that time and throw some paint at it, okay? It might not be, we might not be making um, a masterpiece every day, but we are gonna be getting our hands in the paint and we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be making stuff and we're gonna get out of the habit of just consuming. So if you like the idea of having a group and coming on here live with me um, every day for a month and trying that out and um, making a painting or part of a painting every day, 
then I want you to um, reach out to me via email and I can include you in um, the reminders for the live videos. So that would be at anacoinart at gmail.com. I'll write that on the screen for you. And um, you could also comment below if you want me to um, reach out to you um, and put you on that list. Um, do you want to be part of this group? I want you to be part of this group if you are just struggling to get yourself going with what you want to be doing. <laughs> so this is how we're going to try to help each other and do that. Um, because when I, when it comes down to it, I ask myself, what, what do you really want to do with art? Like, why are you doing it? What do you want? Um, is it to make money? No. Um, is it to be famous? No. <laughs> um, is it to teach? No. It's, it all comes down to, I want to make something beautiful. I want to create something beautiful. And I want to be able to stand back like God did when he created the world and say, it is good. Or at least I like it. <laughs> and, um, I want to be able to make a lot of beautiful things and keep making them more and more beautiful. So if you are interested in growing as an artist and getting up and getting to it, then let me know in the comments or email me and I'll put you on that list. I'll put out a reminder, I'll put out a supply list if you wanna make what I'm making. I'm gonna do a bunch of acrylic pours this month. I'm just gonna do my favorite thing, which is Dutch pours and um, flip cup pours. And I might be working on canvases, I might be working on trays, cause you know I love doing the, the trays. I'm not gonna do any resin in these videos. Um, I'm just gonna do paintings, cause that's kind of where where it's where the fun is at for me. Um, so this is my favorite part, the French press. All right, so I hope you'll join me. I don't know what the month will be like. I do know that I'm gonna show up no matter what. And I hope some of you will be there too. All right, let's do this together. See you soon.